Hello, this is Born Assassin coming to you live from Battlefield 65. Home Squad, Pan, Mad Pandas. We some pretty cool people here. Um, just wanted to thank everyone for pushing me to uh, finally go out and make some videos for you guys so I can help better direct people on things to do. <clears throat> Our first topic here is going to be the topic of sending out a max march with your best troops. Um, a max march is simply sending out your highest level, not rank, highest level, so between 1 and 60. That allows, that changes the amount of troops you can have in your march. So as you can see, I'm going to put in four level 40s. <clears throat> the second thing that I'm talking about when I say your max march with strongest troops is you're going to look at not just the level of the troops that you have, you're going to look at the buffs your officers give them. I personally like using tanks, so I really like Sally. Her uh, vehicle attack defense and hit points go up 180%, so that's always a win. Um, here with Rob, Robert, whatever his, Roger, um, <clears throat> increases everybody's troop attack by 81% and lowers the defense of whoever you're attacking by 81. Um, there's the things you want to look at. You want to watch for the officers that help the troops that you have the most of. So if you have a lot of helicopters, Ellen is perfect for you because Ellen increases attack, defense, and the hit points. Ellen also kills troops instead of injuring, but eventually that's not going to be a relevant scenario. So just the fact that Ellen helps out with attack, defense, and HP of copters is huge. So I like tanks and helicopters, so I usually set up my marches with as many tanks as helicopters as possible. So we're just going to get rid of all my artillery and the commandos, and we're going to hit this toy. So as you can see, my max march is going to end up having some infantry because I can't fill it with just my tanks and copters. So here at the bottom you can see my march is full with 349,070 troops. Just going to send that out. And that's going to do the max amount of damage possible to this toy because I've now sent out my officer which has the buffs for tanks and copters which is stacking each other and making those pretty brutal. So here on this level 30 toy only 6.7% damage but it's a toy. It's how it's supposed to be. Um, so that's a max march. Um, you always want to look at your officers and see what they do. There's a breakdown here of how they are separated out. Magnifying glass is your uh, research department. They give buffs permanently from the HQ. They have no value for marching. Uh, same with the technology, defense, and uh, military. These are all the tiers that you use in your command center for your departments here. You can set them all in here and get different buffs from who you have in. Um, so you want to take a look at who you have set up in there so that way you're getting the max uh, potential out of all of your officers. Now do be aware they do not stack in here. So if you have um, in here uh, like uh, um, some of them they increase all of your income from your um, from your resource plots in here from all your collectors they will rack up your entire capacity if you have two officers in the same tier whether it be logistics defense or technology i think even one of the military does that at some point but if they are increasing all of your resource income here, like Martin is 180% resource income. If you have another one here like Tristan, he does the same thing. It does not stack. It does not make all of your income 360% more. Only one of them is used. So whoever's the highest ranking is who it's going to go off of. So obviously it still doesn't hurt to have Tristan in here because Tristan will still increase your plastic income and your extra harvest. So it's still good to have both of them in there, but you're not going to get a 360% income from the two of them. 
Um, so in here, these guys, they have no value when marching. Zero. You get no extra buffs from them at all. So they're not who you want to send out to attack people. I've seen some of my own people here in, in Pan that will send out a march, and this is what they'll do. I don't know if it's just that they're the only officer they have home, but what they will do is they will come in here and, uh, just a quick example, clear all this out. So they send out a defense officer right here. No bonus from officer skills. And they're going to hit the toy with that. You're not doing yourself any favors because that officer is pointless to send out. These officers are good for when you need extra officers to collect from tiles. But other than that, no. And the only time you want to send a max march with all high-ranking officers to a tile is when you're going to the corpse gathering. Because here, based on how many troops you have, it changes your load. Because uh, here there's no time limit. You can be in here for three days at a time and you'll be gathering until the total troop load has been reached. So that's why it's always beneficial to send out a full march of just artillery to maximize what you're going to be getting. Now you're going to see here, I'm going to switch it out with bull because bull increases your troop load size. And with that, it'll end up going up. So those are a couple factors to put in play. Um, so when I say attack someone with your best officers, I mean look at what you have the most of at home. Here I've got a total of 773 troops. Okay, They're all broke down into tiers. Tanks, commandos, copters, artillery. I have more tanks than I have anything else of, so I want to be using officers that increase tanks. When I rank up my tank man officer here, he's going to be my favorite one to use because when he is maxed out, all tank stats are at 240%. Right now, I like Sally because she's maxed out and it gives me 180% on all stats. So, um, it's what you want to look at on what troops you have the most of, on what officer to send out. So if you're using commandos, you want to send out the officer that you have the highest rank of to give your commandos the best buffs possible. Um, also, when attacking people, you want to make sure you're using your attack and your defense buffs. Not using those is retarded. You need to be using these things so that way you can um, still add more damage on top of what your officers are giving you. Um, once you're ranked up and you have some four-star officers, go in your command building here. All these tiers offer some really cool things. So. Um, the strategist increases your troop attack defense and hit points. So as long as you can get reach the goal of 13, 14, or 16 stars, you will get whatever percent is there. The bottom ones here, you have to have specific officers in this tier in order to unlock the bottom portion. And these officers are not easy to get. There's at least one in each category that is impossible almost to get um, and rank up. And some of them have, like here, you have two officers you never see, actually three that you never see available. So um, plan out where you have your people set up on weekends. I change so that way I am able to deal the most damage. So I increase all my troop stats there and also in the strategist and in the uh, commander. Not everyone has this available yet, I'm aware, but once you get there, you need to remember to utilize this tool. Um, that's a little bit about max marching. Um, as far as where artillery is concerned, don't ever send out artillery to attack someone. Not with, not with a big majority anyways. If you're gonna send out artillery, Let's say someone over here has 20,000 traps, okay? You're gonna wanna send out about 30,000 artillery in your march, and from there, you're gonna um, 
use the rest of it as I already stated with uh, as many troops as possible with the highest buffs from your officers that you have. Um, so hopefully that helps you all out with that aspect of it. Obviously here there's not going to be any troops home, but I still get some resources. The only time it is okay to send out just artillery is if someone has a lot of resources. I mean millions of resources or several hundred thousand at least. Send out just artillery after you've killed off all their troops. Because your artillery have the max load capability and they will loot and plunder everything much faster than anyone else. The march is going to be a little bit slower. But at the same time, your artillery does you no good to be at home because they have no defense um, whatsoever. They're the weakest troop of all of them. They're not strong against anything other than fortification. So setting out your artillery to hit someone to get all of the resources they have and getting attacked by someone at the same time isn't going to hurt you because your artillery is going to be safe. So afterwards, you can still go out and gather up and heal immediately afterwards. Um, that being said, tanks are strong against infantry, infantry is strong against copters, and copters are strong against tanks. Remember that, memorize it, because that is what saves you. When you scout someone and they have 80,000 commandos and 20,000 copters, send 100,000 tanks and 40,000 commandos and you're going to win. If you match what they have with the same thing, the possibility is there that you're going to win, depending on your research and everything. But in the end, you're not you're going to lose more troops than you would if you use what's strong against what they have. Now, if we go and look at this battle report, you're going to see what my officers gave me as far as for all the stats here on the left side. Um, then after that, all the research that I've got. Um, in addition to changing your stuff in your command center, you also want to remain, remember to change your airplane loadout. Um, right now I have it set for gathering because it's nap time. There's not an attack policy in place right now, so I have everything set up to help me with my gathering. On the weekends, it changes, and you set up for your, for your attacking, so that way you have additional buffs from that also to make your troops that much stronger. Um, Hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, please leave comments, messages as far as for if this <laughs> is handy at all. Because I feel like I uh, just went on a bunch of rabbit trails with different things here. But uh, this is my first video. I'm hoping to make more if this is a success. So uh, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. I don't know how often I'll be posting stuff. Um, but feel free to subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching, everybody.